What's going on YouTube? I'm Al and today I'm bringing you uh, a first episode of Funko Fridays. I've done some Funko in the past probably like about over a year ago. So these are the ones I did before in my little series and they seem to be pretty popular and Funko has been growing more and more all the time so I've decided to relaunch a Funko Friday series. Uh, every Friday I will be unboxing one Funko. Um, pretty much just any Funko that I like or I think that people will enjoy seeing out of the box and on video. So first thing I'll do for the introduction of the series is just give you an overview of my collection right there. <clears throat> I've got Superman, Kevin Durant, Batman from uh, Batman Rises, Dark Knight Rises, uh, original Batman, V for Vendetta, Master Chief, Rick Grimes Season 1, Daryl Dixon Season 1, and 300 Leonidas. Some of these, like the 300, the V from Dead, and Halo go for a little more than retail, but I think that I did get rid of the boxes. I think this is almost like two years ago I had these, so shame on me, I got rid of those, but like I said, each week, one Funko for you. I might up it to two a week, depending on the popularity, but I think Funko Friday is the catchy, the catchy thing, so right now I've got 20-something here to do for you guys and unbox. Uh, so that's at least 20 weeks. That's why I was thinking about maybe upping it so I could do two a week. But if you like the series, make sure you subscribe and thumbs up. But I'm going to get into the first one. I got a box here. I have no clue which one I'm going to do, but I think I'm going to do my favorite purchase first, which I think is a good way to start. So for Funko Fridays, episode one on my channel, uh, this is like a kind of a new series of Funko. It's called Funko Rides. I saw this online. Uh, this is a little more expensive than the original Funkos. This is a uh, Funko Pop Rides. You can see here, number eight from The Walking Dead. This is Daryl Dixon and his chopper, or motorcycle, whatever you prefer. So we take a look around here on the back. It does have the same series of the new Walking Dead ones um, with Tyrese and Herschel, Carol. <clears throat> so. I had to get this one definitely because Walking Dead is one of my favorite shows. So I'm going to box this for you. You know, with these Funkos, if you guys do collect them, you know the boxes this damage show easily. And I ordered a bunch from Barnes & Noble because they had cheap cheap ones and the shipping was relatively cheap. Or it was free. And the thing is, they put one in each box. So they put these like padded air bubbles around each one to try to prevent the box from breaking. So first, I'm going to go over Daryl, which is cool. I wasn't sure about this because I haven't looked at any pictures other than the thing itself. He does come off the motorcycle, so he's not attached, so you can have him alone, and he does stand on his own. Uh, see, we got the long-haired Daryl compared to the Season 1 Daryl. He's got his black jacket on, his crossbow on his back, with his angel wings on there. <clears throat> he's got his mustache goatee thing going. His hands are obviously up permanently to hold on to the bike. If you look at him just like that, you're like, hey, he's impersonating a zombie. So then let's take a look at the bike itself. It is black. they got a skull here. Kickstand does not move. There's really no features to it. The wheels really don't move or anything like that. Got your backpack satchels things on the side. Pretty much mimics the same side. So I think that's pretty cool. It is, I think they're $25 compared to the normal 8 to 10 which you would pay for regular Funko. So it seems like a little more expensive than than it should be just to get this bike. You feel like it maybe this should be 20 bucks, but I guess the packaging is a little larger. It might increase the cost. Just looking at here though, this is a newer one compared to the ones I bought back then. And this one feels a little more heavy, a little more sturdy, maybe a little more higher quality than the Season 1. The paint on this does look improved. Uh, there are some little factory errors that, you know, these are just cheaply made, made in China. You know, they try to keep costs down. But it does feel a little more sturdy than uh, than the older ones. So I don't know if they've increased their quality. The paint job does look significantly better. If you look at Rick here on his paint, just not very good. It doesn't, it doesn't cover his entire shirt. So... Maybe I just got a bad one or whatever, but I feel like this quantity quality is better than these ones. This one has a little more durability to it. So I'll have to definitely look at the other ones to see if the paint jobs have gotten better. But if you enjoyed this video, like I said, make sure you subscribe for every Friday. We're going to have the Funko videos. 
white output to two. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you thumbs up and stay tuned for more videos.